What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're rocking out with a Galarian Articuno and King Gambit team for Rank Regulation F. Now, Galarian Articuno, really cool Pokemon, really dope design, is here for speed control. It's got Imprison, Trick Room, and Tailwind. So we can pop Trick Room, we can pop Tailwind, or we can just imprison both those moves, allowing our opponent not to be able to use those moves. Really cool little combo right there. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon. Articuno also as competitive as its ability with the Cover Cloak as the item, and it's rocking out with the brand new move Psychic Noise, which actually cancels out all healing moves. Love this move so much, especially if we're going up against, say, like a King Gambit, or not a King Gambit, I should say an Annihilate or a Iron Hands, who'd like to use Drain Punch to get HP recovery. We can just use Psychic Noise on that Pokemon and cancel out those moves. Other Pokemon on today's team is going to be Fire Ogre Pond with Swords Dance. We get that Sword Dance set up, the sink's hitting like a truck. We also have Garchomp, Garchomp's an amazing dragon type with Outrage, Swords Dance as well, Stomping Tantrum, and Protect. Like I mentioned, we have King Gambit, great Pokemon with Defiant, kind of counters Intimidate users, and we also have Iron Bundle for a great little special attack. Our final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our support Pokemon, it is going to be Clefable with Unaware and a Chillin' Berry. Got Follow Me, Helping Hand, a Luring Voice, and Heal Pulse. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a pretty dope team right here. Definitely Truck Roomy with Comfy, Glacier, and on top of that, Dust Cops. But then they also have Free Marina, Iron Hands, and last but not least, they do have Landers in its incarnate. So honestly, Glaring Articuno is going to be great here. We got Psychic Noise to kind of cancel out healing moves. And on top of that, we can imprison Trick Room right away. Another Pokemon that I want to go into would be either Garchomp or Ogre Pond, just so I can try to pop off Sword Sands here while they try to set up Trick Room. So who would I rather go into? Would it be Ogre Pond or would it be Garchomp? I do like Garchomp, just depending on who they go into for the lead. So probably Ogre Pond would be a little bit better here. So yeah, I'm going to go Ogre Pond here. Lovely little lead go in with both of these guys. And then in the back end, we can bring, hmm, can bring King Gambit and Garchomp. Or I can just bring support. No, we're going to go Garchomp. We're going to go hyper offensive here behind Galarian Articuno. Hopefully they lead a Pokemon like Dusclops because I can just imprison Trick Room. Really just get after it. And when they lead Dusclops, it's kind of like a known fact that it's usually going for Trick Room, right? It's usually going for Trick Room. So imprison would be our play call. So let's see what they end up doing here. What is their play? It's gotta be Dust Comps. Or Comfy could set it up. But I feel like they have to set up Trick Room. It's gonna be Iron Hand Dust Comps, which is totally fine. Hopefully they fake out the Glaring Articuno, which would be beautiful. It would be beautiful. So Mole Breaker pops out here. He's gonna frisk, see our items. He's definitely just going to fake out the what's called at this point. He's definitely just gonna fake out the uh The Ogre Pond at this point, but honestly, I might just Sword Dance just in case he he tries to read our Spiky Shield. Let's be honest here. Let's just do it. So I'm going to go for Sword Dance, and bam. There it is. We get off a free Sword Dance. The Sword Dance is here. That's beautiful. Imprison comes out here. We say, yo, Trick Room's not happening. So he's not even going for a fake out here. He decided to go for a Thunder Punch, which works out fine. We seal Trick Room. They can't Trick Room. And now we're sitting pretty good, because now I can just sit here, Psychic Noise you up. And then potentially just trash slides and start Ivy cudgeling, right? I like this play. I like this play all day and hit this Dust Clops. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. So we're going to hit the Terra button. We're going to go plus three on attack. We already canceled that Trick Room, which is huge. And we're just going to start attacking this Dust Clops. Straight fire type coming at you. A good call for me, not the Spiky Shield. Just in case. We did that just in case. Because who cares if we take a little bit of damage from Fake Out? It's not that big of a deal. But they're going to end up swapping Iron Hands. And let's see who they end up going into. They're going to go into Primarina, which is fine, I guess. Nothing crazy. I am attacking the Dust Cops, which is good. And plus, I do have Wood Hammer. I could set up a Tailwind if I want to, but their Pokemon are rather slow. My Pokemon are fast. Do we really need the Speed Boost? Not really, right? No, it's really. So now Embody Aspect comes out here. We are sitting plus three. We love this. And we're going to get off some big time damage onto this. Dust Cops. Maybe even KO. If we one shot Dust Cops, that's impressive. We do one shot Dust Cops. That's impressive. Because Dust Cops are so bulky with the Evo. Like, get it on out my face. So, big time KO comes out of here. Psychic Noise is going to follow behind. Do a little bit of damage. Chances are they might bring back out. 
they might bring back out Iron Hand tier. And if it does, I am just going to spiky shield my Ogre Pond and look to kind of get after that. But if they do have a Pokemon like Comfy or something, no, it's going to be Iron Hand. I was going to say, if they have Comfy, we will attack. But from here, I'm cool with just going for a Psychic Noise and just straight up spiky shielding this Ogre Pond here. I think that's a safe play for us to go into. They still have Terra. We got to watch out for it. But if I were them, I'd probably just fake out the Articuno, even with the Cobra Cloak, just for the KO, right? I wonder. Maybe they'll go after the Ogre Pond. No, they're just staying in here. So Psychic Noise doing some nice damage. No healies allowed. You're not allowed to heal. No Drain Punches. So if he does go for a Drain Punch, we're able to just soak it up. So Hyper Voice is going to fly through here. That is Liquid Voice up too. And Articuno is going to die. So now from here, what's our play? Because what are you going with? He's going to take some damage to Spike Shield. You're going to get Throat Spray boosted. And now we could bring out Garchomp if we want to. This thing's Rock and Thunder Punch. So he's just not going for fake outs. No fake outs allowed. We have a plus three Ogre Pond ready to rock. Ready to hit things like a truck. And this thing is no longer prevented from healing. So I could go into you. You're not bad. But Garchomp would, ooh, would Stomp and Catch him. Yeah, I'm all about you. I was going to say, I thought you had EQ. And Stomp and Tantrum works so much better because we won't hit our ally Pokemon. Beautiful. We love it. So, from here, we're going to go for the Stomp and Tantrum. Look to KO. And on top of that, just go for the Wood Hammer into this thing. Get rid of the plus one Primo Arena. It needs to be gone. It needs to be gone. But yeah, what a hot start for us. Worked out perfectly. That's why I said I want to lead a nice little Sword Dance user. We ended up choosing Ogre Pond. Could have actually chose Garchomp. Garchomp would have been solid here as well. But Ogre Pond's great because right after we Sword Dance, we just pop the Terra, get the plus one boost, and then you get the stab with the Ivy Cudgel boost. It's insane. The damage output is just absurd. So now this thing's sitting plus three. Prima Marine is going to end up protecting. That's no big deal. As long as it's stopping Catch of Chaos, which I think it should. We got you pretty low HP. We got you pretty low HP, Iron Hands. You're pretty low. I wouldn't say pretty low, but you're, you're, you're low enough, right? Low greens. That hurts the soul. You should soak the Silver Pond. Okay, cool. No paralyzers. No paralyzers. I think we're good. I think we're good. Cool. So, Stomp and I'm going to come out here. We're just going to do this. And we're still just going to rip a Wood Hammer. Even if you do Thrasilize, I think we just still KO. Unless it's a Fire Terror, right? Unless you have Fire Terror. Let's see. Let's see what you got. I was going to Ivy Cudgel. And you're going to end up Thrasilizing Iron Hands. What is that? Makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. You got flying there. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So you're going to dodge Stomp and catch him. Not that big of a deal. You're probably going to KO my Ogre Pond here. But I'm going to KO you. Get on out of here. So they pick up the KO there. Kind of hurts the soul. Considering now my Ogre Pond dies out here. Because you're just going to Thunder Punch me. Stomp and catch him is going to dodge. I thought that was going to be Prima Arena getting the Terra. But the flying Terra coming out here, that's honestly pretty big. That's a pretty big Terra. Down goes my Ogre Pond. We do have King Gambit in the back end, which is such a solid Pokemon, especially for late game. And we outspeed this Iron Hands, which is good. So, bringing in the Black Glasses, King Gambit gives him a nice little boost in Dark type moves. I think it's a 1.2 times multiplier. And they're going to throw out their final Pokemon, which is Glacier. And they don't have Terra either, which is good. They do not have Terra, which is good. But honestly, I'm thinking of just going Protect here. And then just Kowtow Cleaving. And just finishing off you, right? Because chances are you go after Garchomp with an ice move. And I'd rather turn this into a 2v1 situation. I'd rather turn this into a 2v1 situation. Luckily, this isn't Sword and Shield. And it's not Ice Rider Calyrex with its uh, Glacial Lance move. That move was insanely strong. It was a double hitting, like, base 120 ice move. And every time you picked up KO, its ability just gave it an attack boost. But now they're going for fake out? That's real odd. That's real odd now they go for fake out. I don't know. I guess they just knew they were dead. I guess they knew where they were dead. They were probably just like, hey, let me uh Let me just go for fake out. Maybe if it works, that'd be awesome. But you end up we we actually lost this match. We lost this match. We actually lost this match. We actually just lost this match. That's crazy. This this thing ended up going after my King Gambit, and now I can't KO. Unless Outrage KOs, but I don't think Outrage KOs. I do not think Outrage KOs. That hurts, man. We're really going to end up losing this first match. 
Unless you KO. Can you KO? You don't KO. So he's just going to land an ice move here. Oh my lord. Pokey Gods, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I feel bad for opponent now. I do feel bad for opponent. Oh wait, they have a, still have a shot now. They still have a shot because we're going to be confused. Or we might not be confused. Let's see. Let's see. Wow, yo, we really dodged that icicle crash. And no, we're not confused yet. So we're going to go for another Outrage. And they missed Stealth Protect. I feel bad for our opponent, man. <laughs> I feel bad. But still, GG to our opponent. We'll take that first win all day. We should have probably just doubled down. But I really thought that Glacier was going to attack our Garchomp instead of the King Gambit. But hey, 1-0. Let's go hop into our second match. Moving on to our second match, and the Poke Gods gave us a nice little dodge there. We avoided the Icicle Crash for the win. Now we're going up against a Meow Stick team with Primarina, Arm Rouge, and Didi. Tough little combo right there. On top of that, they do have uh, Sandy Shocks and Milotic. I think Larian Articuno is going to be another great lead here. Dodge and Fake Outs from Meow Stick, and on top of that, if they want to go Trick Room with Didi Arm Rouge, we can just imprison like we did in the last match. So that's something I do like. On top of that, we could go in with Ogre Pond again just seems too perfect here, right it seems too perfect we'll bring king gambit in the back end because king gambit works so well if we can see psychic pokemon and last but not least garchomp or the bundle i kind of like the bundle here i do like the bundle here especially with freeze dry gonna be super effective onto the sandy shocks the primarina and the milotic we gotta bring it in here we gotta bring it in here. so let's see who they end up leading it's either gonna be indeed the armors i feel like or me i'll stick somebody else because Meowth Stick's actually a pretty solid Pokemon. It does learn Prankster. It has Fake Out. You can learn like Thunder Wave. It has a great support moveset. Meowth Stick's always usually solid in whatever game it's actually using. Sword and Shield is pretty good. You've actually seen a little bit of usage like late in the seasons. Like, like, like around this time the game came out. Meowth Stick was actually thriving. It was doing pretty good. But I wonder who, they get, who they're going to go. If they do go in DD Armors. We're going to have to imprison them. We have to stop it right then if they pop trick room then they can just start expanding forcing and it could really just be a problem and my dog's barking you guys probably hear my dog barking and it's just barking like crazy but <laughs> it's whatever we're here to battle don't worry about my dog barking don't worry about it maybe you guys don't hear it. maybe my mic don't pick it up but i can hear it pretty loud but they go sandy shocks they go primarina here um from here we could go into just attacking we could set up a tailwind tailwind's not bad but this ain't gonna boost our energy up is that going to be speed? It's going to be special attack. We might want to Terrasilize our Articuno because it does have Ground Terra. That's something I actually really like. Ground Terra and maybe just Wood Hammer into the Primarina. I honestly like that. I honestly like that. I honestly like Terrasilize in this Pokemon. And then going for a Wood Hammer into the Primarina slot. I like that. I'm hoping Wood Hammer will KO. It's a big time stab damage move. Super effective too. So we're gonna we're gonna follow through with that wood hammer into the tailwind into the ground terror type and we'll see what they want to do I, I would hope that the sandy shocks would just want to go for like a thunderbolt into my articuno that's the plan that's that's the hopes right that's why we're going ground terror big time ground terror for the bird ground terror for the bird so we put the ground terror on show me thunderbolt Special attacks boosted. That's scary. That's scary. Woodhammer's gonna outspeed everything. Bop, big time damage. Bye bye, Primarina. Man, Ogre Pond's killing it today. Ogre Pond killing it. He's killing it. Show me a Thunderbolt. Show me a Thunderbolt. This is an Articuno slot. No gravity. Oh no. Oh no. At least we get off Tailwind. At least we get off Tailwind. I always hate when I Terrasilize predicting a move and then it just doesn't happen and I just waste my Terra. But this is still not a bad Terra, forcing him not to be able to go after my. Glaring Articuno with an electric move. So now I can just follow through with Woodhammer into the Sandy Shock slot. Or, or not. Actually, we can't. And I think I'll just double down into it in Didi. Didi could pop Trick Room. Do we just imprison? Play it safe and just imprison. I think that's a better play for us. Play it safe and just imprison. That's going to be the play. Play it safe and imprison. And if you are going to go... Actually, I'll just Spiky Shield this turn. See what he wants to do. We'll Spiky Shield. We'll read out what our opponent wants to do. On top of that, we'll Imprison. I could see potentially like a Protect from Sandy Shocks now. And then a Trick Room. That's definitely a possibility. Because they know we have Tailwind up. And they're just going to Terrasilize here. So Terror's going to come out and about. Going to go into Sandy Shocks. 
Direct. And this makes me think that they're potentially popping a trick room. Because you wouldn't really terrasize if you're just going for a follow me. And ice is gonna come out of here. Good thing I did spike a shield here. But after there's a prison we outspeed, we can just go for a straight up Ivy Cudgel. And there's a nice lovely imprison. Let me say yo. Trick room not happening. Terror Blast gonna connect. Ooh, little Terror Blast action. Into my Articuno. You might die to this. You survive, that's beautiful. And there's a the trick room. So big time in prison from us. We can now just start getting after these guys and just double down into Sandy Shock. So it's gonna be my play. You wanna go for follow me, you can. I'm gonna double down into your Sandy Shocks. I'm gonna double down into that Sandy Shocks. Big time. Big time in prison. Oh, prison just works so well. It really does. So I because you're gonna fly here. They're not even gonna go for a follow me. We're gonna take out this Pokemon, no problem. Ogre Punch just ripping. He's just ripping today. It's too easy for him. It's way too easy for him. So we're gonna take out the Sandy Shocks. Indeed, he's gonna probably go for like a Gleam or something. I don't even know what he's gonna go for. But it probably finishes off my Articuno, let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Goes for a Shy Shock, yeah. The Shy Shock's up. No Trick Room allowed. We can go into Gambit's probably your best bet. Because I believe Arm Rouge would be their last Pokemon, right? If you're trying to pop Trick Room there, I would believe Arm Rouge would be your last Pokemon. Plus, you have Indeedy. So, we're going to go into King Gambit. They have no Terra either. We can just start Kowtow Cleaving. And honestly, you might be slower than a few. You might be slow. <laughs> you are so slow. I know we have Tailwind up, but this thing is so slow. He really is. So, from here, we're going to go Kowtow Cleave into the Armour slot. On top of that, we're just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel into Indeedy. And we'll see how this one plays, because King Gambit's speed is like 49, I think I saw. Plus Tailwind doubles it, so that'd be 98. Close to 100, which honestly, Armour sometimes outspeeds. Armour sometimes outspeeds. So Ivy Cudgel flying. Um, is Imprison still in effect? Actually, might be, right? Is Imprison? Actually, I don't know if you KO the Pokemon. No, but just, well, there we go. Never mind, you just showed me what happens here. They just showed me. The Tailwind's gone. How much longer in terrain is the real question? Two turns left in terrain. Um, I could end up just swapping into the Iron Bundle. I would think the Fire Move would come out here, right? If I can just get rid of this thing, that'd be nice. I would think the Fire Move would just come out here. I probably should just protect the King Gambit this turn and then swap them next turn. Just to waste out the terrain turns. But if Iron Bundle ends up dying, we just protect. And then terrain's gone. And then we can freely start Sucker Punching, which is beautiful. It's a lovely little play, but we had to get rid of Indeed first and foremost. It needs to be gone. But yeah, once my Pokemon hopped off the field or died to Articuno, then Prism was gone. They can then Trick Room. And there's a Psy Shock, which you should soak. You should soak this up. Cool. You going for an Armor Cannon? You are. Okay, so good swap for on our end. We end up making the big time read. Iron Bundle's going to die. That's no big deal because now we get rid of Indeedy. Terrain ends in one turn. We just protect the Gambo. Actually, do you not? Have, you might not even have protect. You might not even have protect. I'm trying to think. Sucker Punch, Cow Tackle. You don't have protect. Iron Head, Low Kick. You do not have protect, which is tough news. Why couldn't you survive one more turn? We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose because we. You probably have Flash Fire, right? You probably have Flash Fire. You probably have fire, and then we just die out the recoil. Right, you have to have flash fire. I'm gonna hope you don't, but we're just gonna go for this. Yeah, we lose this all day. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. It be upsetting, unless you don't go after King Gambit here. Thinking I'm gonna protect it, but I don't have protect. Man, I wish I had protect. Protect would have just won us the game. A simple protect, and wow, we just outspeed it in Shirk Room. That's how slow this Pokemon is. Actually, that worked perfectly. That worked perfectly. I forgot how slow this Pokemon is. So, King Gambit, clutching up. Awesome. 2-0 for today's video. Let's go hop into our third. So, guys, the King Gambit being slow as dirt actually helped us out tremendously. We love it. We love it. But we're going up against a regular Articuno team here in match number three. We have no weather control, so they're probably just going to lead Articuno and Ninetales. Probably try to pop the Aurora Bell and really just start getting after it. So, this one's going to be a little bit of a problem for us, right? 
definitely gonna be a little bit of a problem but who should we lead here who should we lead i could just lead you and maybe try to get off the sword stance that's something i actually really like and on top of that we could maybe just try to go for the tailwind with the covert cloak that's not bad because i would love to just get off tailwind and have a little bit of speed control so yeah we're just gonna lead the same lead that we've been doing all day in the back end we're gonna bring king gambit because i really like it and last but not least we could go in with iron bundle or we could go in with clefable i'm kind of leaning towards the bundle i like the bundle here super effective onto the raging bolt the ogre pond the uh the landorus free strike is just a monster move it's so good it's so good but honestly you know, back to back wins when i thought we were gonna lose back to back wins when i thought we were gonna lose we dodged an icicle crash and then uh Kata cleave we just outsmed which was huge which is huge tailwind ended at the perfect time we were able to pick up the ko and they end up leading the ice squad here in match number three so we're looking for a perfect record double birds mega articuno galarian articuno galarian articuno is like articuno's cooler cousin it's got like cool glasses on looks all swagged out but articuno is the real deal though no hate on articuno but from here i'm just gonna swords dance a simple swords dance gonna pop out here for me and i'm just gonna go for a tailwind i think we need some speed here I think we need some speed. Do I Terrasalize Ogre Pond? That's the real question. I think I actually do. I think I actually do Terrasalize Ogre Pond. And the reason being, I want to get rid of that Grass Typing. I'd rather Ice Moves be not very effective, rather rather than neutral. So we're going to see a swap of Articuno come out here. And they're going to throw out... Who? Who you got cooking? They're going to throw out Raging Bolt, which isn't too bad. Raging Bolt, not too bad. I do hit this Terra. I'm going to get the plus one attack boost. And maybe I should have just straight up attacked that, that uh, Nine Tails. It's whatever. I like the Sword Stance play. Going plus two. Actually, plus three after his Terra. But I like it. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. So there's that Sword Stance going to fly through here. Yeah, I could have just straight up attacked that Articuno. But Chance Star probably pops a War Bell. Yep, there's the bell. So maybe he had Focus Ash. It probably did anyway. So that's fine. That's going to come out here. Tailwind's going to follow. We're going to have to deal with this War Bell. We're going to have to deal with the war. So from here, I'm just gonna Ivy Cudgel into this slot and Do I swap Articuno? And go into a Pokemon like this. Just save Articuno. I think I'd rather just start attacking. I think I'd rather just start doing some damage. This really isn't gonna do any damage. We probably should have just swapped. Let's see what Articuno is gonna do here. Well not Articuno. Nine Tails and Raging Bolt. I don't mind if they just KO or my Articuno. I'd rather have it off the field at this point. Yeah, War Bell is just pain in the neck to kind of deal with. I'm just gonna go for Helping Hand. So helping Hand gonna fly through here. Go for Helping Hand Thunderclap. Ivy Cudge are gonna fly here. Maybe I should have just went after Raging Bolt with that. I don't know. We're gonna go into Nine Tails, and this thing wasn't sashed all along, so we could have just dumped on it. We could have just dumped on it and got rid of War Bell. So there's that second noise he's gonna follow through here. Do about negative six damage. But he's not allowed to heal, which is nice, but when does a Rage Bolt ever heal? Draco Meter, oh we did to that. Helping hand Draco Meter. Smart play on their end. Real smart play. Okay, so now we have a little bit of speed cooking. Um Ogre Pond's dead. Nine Tails is dead. And at this point we gotta go in. We have to. We have to. And I wish Articuno could do something a little bit more than just stand around here and look pretty, right? <laughs> it's really just been doing its job with Imprisons and Speed Control, which actually I've been liking today. But yeah, this one's not looking good, especially after the War Bell setup. Tough news. Helping Hand Drake here. Smart play. Big time damage. Their, their special attack is dropped, so we could see a Hard Slop come out from him. And I think that's most likely going to be the play. We don't have Terra either. So now they go back into Articuno, which isn't too bad. Which isn't too bad. And again, I think they swapped the Ragey Bolt. B minus two on special attack. But I think now is just a solid time for us to just double down into Articuno. And actually, it's actually a better time to maybe swap now. Actually, no. Let's just save King Gambit. Let's just save King Gambit. Go for a second noise here. Yeah, there's the withdrawal of the Ragey Bolt. We read that pretty easily. We're going to see their final Pokemon, which is going to be who? Who you got here? It's gonna be Ogre Pod, so Free Strike's gonna work well on that. And we'll see a Terra type come out from the Articuno. A nice little Terra. What you going into? Here? Straight Ice. Now that hurts because I got Free Strike cooking in this slot. 
I got freeze dry flying into the side. Now, do you have freeze dry as well? You might have freeze dry as well. You might have it. We're doing like no damage to you. Psychic Noir is going to do like no damage. Aurorville, tremendous. Actually, we got a crit. We'll take that damage all day. We'll take that damage all day. Now, from here, Blizzard going to fly. Probably take out my Articuno, right? Yeah. And now we're forced to get after it this way, which, um. Hmm. Iron Head's going to be super effective on Articuno. Freeze Dry is four times super effective onto that Ogre Pond, which is good. As long as Ogre Pond doesn't spiky shield, which it might. It might just spiky shield. We can K. We should be able to just KO it, even through a War Veil. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into an Iron Head here into the Articuno slot. And we're still in this battle. We're definitely still in this battle. We have like one turn left in Tailwind. Our King Gambit's super slow, so we might want to start Icy Winning soon enough. But if King Gambit doesn't get rid of this Articuno, we're going to lose all day. Because I know dang well, I know for dang sure, that my Iron Bundle's not doing it. It's just not doing it. So follow me comes out here. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Because I believe Iron Bundle the KO, even through a War Veil, four times super effective. Stab. One HP. And a freeze. <laughs> I think it's like three HP, but still. Come on, man. What is this going to connect here? Um... Gonna bring us down a little lower. No freeze allowed. I said no freeze allowed, so I guess they get our revenge freeze. And that one hurts the soul. Okay, I thought out. Awesome. See, like, freeze is so stupid. It really is. Why, like, you thaw out in one turn, and this, that happens more often than not. I think it's like 50 50 if you're frozen. It's crazy. It is absurd. The tailwind's gone. Um. Could thunderclap into me. Could be a little bit of a problem, honestly. I think we just go helping hand. Iron head? I can't protect. I cannot protect. And Blizzard probably can't use this. Which kind of sucks. I would think he would be going for the thunderclap. So I'm gonna helping hand here. And look to just KO this thing. So helping hand comes out here. Show me the thunderclap. Going into King Gambit for some reason. And now Blizzard picks up the double KO. Come on, man. Why are you thunderclapping the King Gambit? Maybe he thought I was protecting. I didn't have protect regardless. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video. Solid Articuno team takes us out in the third and final match. There you go. Articuno. I should say Galarian Articuno in ranked regulation. I've absolutely loved it today. Besides it not doing too much damage, Imprison Trick Room and Tailwind was phenomenal. Match number one and match number two, we imprisoned Trick Room and ultimately ended up winning the match because of it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.